the pressure inside the condominium with reference to outside is negative 20, 21 pascals. So the moisture is coming through the glass doors at the seams. Big leak. You can actually see light when you're totally closed. The sliding glass doors are very much open. Outside on the lanai facing west, you can see the negative pressure pulls the air right in through the cracks in the sliding glass door. This is a relatively uh, well fitting glass door, but uh, not enough well, to keep the air from right through here. here. That's probably the biggest leak is right here at this seam. And so this is how the moisture comes into the condo. The cause of the moisture is the negative pressure of the fans on the roof. But this is the entry so point. Here we can see this the, is where it comes in. The air can get right in through that crack. And that's how the same way the moisture comes that's in the car as well. So that's where the air comes into this into this condo. Okay, so the pressure with the the hallway is a lower pressure than the condo. So when you open the air, you're pulling air out. So it's a higher pressure here, it's pushing it out. It is. Yep. You can see it. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. And that's why when the door closes, it slams. What, what does that mean? Does it mean that there's too much air being pushed through the condo, or is it coming from and the, in the uh, kitchen? Well, this is the door to the out. lobby. The pressure with reference to the lobby is 6.3. So the condo is at a positive pressure with reference to the lobby. This is the range vent in the kitchen. Take the smoke pen and see that even though it's not on, we're pulling air out of this condo through this opening. Even though the range vent is not active, this is one of the locations where we're pulling a negative pressure in addition to the lobby. We're going to take the range vent, seal it off. Is uh, that we're cooking, the ventilation is fine. Yeah. The problem is, most of the time, nobody no. is using this right. and it's pulling all of the air right. out of the condo. Okay. With the plastic on, will I still be able to put that on occasionally? I'm going to remove it when I leave. Oh, I oh, yeah. see. This, yeah. is, this is only for testing. It's only for testing, right. But what it does is it shows you that when you leave to go up north, yeah. if you were to put plastic over this, yeah. it would stop it. Yeah. It would fix it. That's how simple it is. It's yeah. a piece of plastic. Now, this let's, let's look at the dryer vent and you'll see dryer. the same thing. And the clothes dryer is off. We're pulling a negative pressure into the clothes dryer anyway. You gotta do the same thing. The dryer vent. Uh, for the clothes dryer, the air pulls in here after it's been heated, and this is the part that's connected to the roof fan. That's where your lint screen is. So in the wall, there's a riser that goes all the way to the roof to a fan. Okay. And so when you're using the clothes dryer, we like this exhaust. We don't have any problem with it. What we don't like is that when you're not using the dryer, it's pulling the air conditioning. I'm just going to let it, it suck in there. Shut. Pull it up a little bit. Look at that. Oh, gosh, yes. See how hard that's pulling? Right. All right, so that's pulling the air conditioning out of the condo. Right. Now, if I go up on the roof... Do, do, do that even when the door's shut? Oh, yeah. Even when Be the door's closed? Yeah, because it's open on a screen on the other side here. Right. So it's open either way. Right. So um, that is the thing that is causing the moisture to come into the condo. Does the ventilation cause mold? No. It's the air that replaces the dry air right. that okay. we're pulling out right. that is causing the mold in this condo. Right. So uh, until the building is fixed, the only thing we can do is run dehumidifiers right. uh, to try to mop it up. We can't right. keep it from coming in. Right. Now the other thing you can do is you can seal 
this when you go and eliminate that. Okay. It, now, what I was asking is when this door shut. It's still open here. Yeah. But if it's what do you mean? I mean, how can it get into that if the door shut? This is the bath fan and the master bath. The fan is off. It's pulling a significant amount of air anyway. Backdraft damper is open. So this is the master bathroom bath fan and I've got it sealed up now. We'll take another reading and then we'll go seal the other reduced side. Reduced to 1.3 pascals with reference to the lobby by sealing up the dryer vent, the range vent, and one we bath fan stack. The dryer stack. vent sealed, the range vent sealed, and both bath fans sealed and we're at 25.6 that's all coming from the lobby. And we're down Pulling to 1.1 in the kitchen uh, with reference to the lobby uh, because we've sealed off the range vent, the dryer vent, and the bath fans.